Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have the Queen family sing-along. Uh, Disney, had, this is from 2021. Previously, during the pandemic, they had done just sort of the Disney family sing-along, and it was, you know, basically a lot of people <laughs> videoing themselves over, like, Skype or, or Zoom or whatever, uh, performing families just performing Disney songs for fun, and celebrities mainly. But they threw in some families and stuff like that, regular people. Uh, and they came back with this in 2021 as they saw the pandemic going away. Uh, everybody's not performing in masks here. So there's a bunch of people together uh, for a lot of this stuff. Actually, they, they filmed all of this in the uh, iconic Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel right there on the Hollywood Boulevard, right across the street from the Chinese Theater. Uh, it's right in the heart of... Uh, movie town so uh they film stuff in the hallways and uh, some of the rooms and even out by the pool uh this is basically just a big concert not live tribute uh by a bunch of performers from a bunch of different uh, genres and some familiar disney faces you get darren chris here hosting it uh you might remember him from glee uh he's done a bunch of other stuff he does a lot of voice work as well uh but he's he's a very amiable host he is he's pretty funny uh, in this, uh, like I said, it's 2021, it's 41 minutes long, so it premiered on ABC television, uh, so people could just sit at home, turn it on, and there's commercial break slots in this, with no commercials, obviously, at least unless you have the commercial version of Disney Plus whenever that shows up. Um, at the time that I'm recording this, it, it doesn't exist yet. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was an ABC special, uh, so yeah, it was uh, just kind of thing where, hey, families are still stuck at home to a certain degree, and let's all just get many generations. Uh, if you're the type of family, the parents who raised your children on good rock and roll music, or in this case, grandparents who may have raised your kids and grandkids on good rock and roll music, well, guess what? You've taught them how to sing along to Queen, whether it's We Will Rock You or Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Killer Queen, all these different uh, things, uh, different songs. We get, we, oh, we even have, uh, uh, let's say, let's, let me see here, uh, Jimmy Allen and Miss Piggy perform, I think, is it Somebody to Love? I don't know. I can't remember which one. There's a lot of there's, there's a lot of different hits in here. They can't hit all of them, obviously. And I will admit that the uh, somewhat lyrically problematic Bohemian Rhapsody is highly truncated. Uh, it takes out a whole chunk of that story uh, in the process to get to the the big chorus, the big moment with Darren Chris performing that at the very end uh, but you get uh, you also get one Republic you, uh, performing out by the pool as uh, the water lily aqua lilies are doing synchronized dancing in the pool uh, you get a uh, fallout boy doing under pressure with the lead singer doing both the David Bowie and Freddie Mercury parts and between all these songs uh, you get this little look at some of the hotel and stuff like that but um, you also get a lot of back uh, historic footage of the band performing, uh, some clips from their music videos and things like that. Just a little bit of history to show uh, why they are one of the greatest all-time bands of the last 50 years. This is kind of a 50th anniversary perform uh, tribute to them. Um, oh, and this the whole thing starts out with uh, a very popular Jojo Siwa by children's standards. I, I, I'm not familiar with her music, but uh, or their music. I'm not sure. I'm not up. I don't, again, I don't know about them very well. Uh, <laughs> I know a little bit. Uh, to be dangerous, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just, there's a bunch of different... Oh, Derek Huff, uh, I guess from, from Dancing with the Stars. He does a big dance routine kind of thing out in the parking lot with a bunch of dancers uh, to Another One Bites the Dust. I think sung by uh, Oriamphi? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and Pentatonix does a song as well. So a cappella, completely. So yeah, it's a, it's a. This could be a, for for Queen fans, it might be worthwhile checking out. I know a lot of Queen fans who, or just fans in general, who like 
the original stuff, they, and they hate it when anybody dares to cover the classics, um, and they they get angry at that. So if you're one of those purists who are like, oh, well, how dare you be somebody who likes the music I like and performs it live in a way that is not exactly not the same exact way as the original, well, uh, you're probably going to hate this. But if you can have fun, if you're able to have fun... <laughs> with this this is a it might be worthwhile i don't know if you're going to sing along to it but uh it's the kind of thing that it's family friendly enough it appeared on abc so it was you know network television uh and uh it's any of the troublesome lyrics because those lyrics have to appear at the bottom of the screen so you get you so you can sing along in case you didn't know the lyrics sometimes some of those words you know he's british i mean it's the accent may have uh clouded what you actually thought they were saying a lot i learned a lot actually from reading the lyrics going oh so that's what he was saying hmm. yeah uh so yeah there's like i said they anything that was a bit troublesome anyway for for kids has been fairly well excised but in a way that doesn't wreck the flow of the song itself it's just shorter because bohemian rhapsody itself is a pretty long song with a dramatic build and everything else, well, yeah, it's, they cut it down for time, let's just say. I'm sure there's a, a part of them that wishes they could do the entire song, but it's Disney, so, <laughs> uh, you know what, go watch the Live Aid concert, you know, Radio Go Go, Radio Gaga, do, do watch that. It's on YouTube, and also, by the way, if you want to also see another edited version of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody that's actually kind of fun, the Muppets do that, uh, the animal and the and the band do their own version of Bohemian Rhapsody. That is pretty amazing. Where animal just kind of does says mama over and over again over the parts where the troublesome lyrics would have been. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's good fun. It's just good fun. So let's pick tomorrow's episode. Four hundred forty-four. Four four four. Should be easy to remember. Don't have to scroll very far. Oh, okay. We, for this, something tells me we've seen this one too. All right. I keep thinking we've seen some of this stuff already. And this one, I I kind of feel that we have. But we're going to, I'm going to check and I might be back in a minute to tell you. But this is one of the Silly Symphony classic animated shorts, The Grasshopper and the Ants. Like this could have shown up in the list where it was just Grasshopper and the Ants rather than the grasshopper in the ants. I don't know. I have to check. And I'm not going to do it right now. If I'm, we've seen it already. Well, uh, I'll be back and I'll pick another one. The Grasshopper and the Ants, a Silly Symphony animated short classic on the next Disney Plus Every Day Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.